many different compounds in, in cannabis. Two, two of the most common ones are THC, tetrahydrocannabidiol, which is, a, um, which is a, the stuff that's psychoactive. It makes somebody uh, develop a high. And then CBD cannabidiol is, uh, there's, there's receptors throughout the body for this particular substance. There's CBD1 receptors, CBD2 receptors. These are the two most common ingredients in, in cannabis. CBD, there's been shown for some time now, decades, that it can have a medicinal effect. Specifically, uh, some of the early studies showed on, on convulsive disorders or seizure disorders. CBD is the more medicinal part of, of, of these compounds. One chemical in marijuana, THC, is responsible for the psychoactive effects or the high. It also combats nausea and pain. But another chemical called CBD seems to have additional benefits. In San Francisco, these researchers say that compound CBD can kill cancer cells and stop them from metastasizing in human cells and mice. My name is Alan Zupkin. I'm board certified in addiction medicine and I have a practice here in Central Florida. I treat people whose lives have been totally ruined by drugs and alcohol. If I ask my patient population what are their three most common complaints, I hear anxiety, panic attacks, sleep disorders, chronic pain. When I found out about CBD, I was really encouraged because CBD oil is extremely beneficial for those three things. So I said this was a perfect match for my patient population. Another thing as a physician that I really found comforting was that there was a tremendous amount of research that was done on CBD long before the product was available. There is sound science that backs this product up. When any physician hears that there are receptors for CBD in the brain, that it works on the limbic system, which is the brain's emotional system, they can really understand how this can be beneficial to their patients. Other benefits apparently are anti-inflammatory effects. There are reports about its early research use in treating cancer. There are many patients that have social anxiety disorder. CBD would play an important role in treating them. There are neuroprotective effects of CBD, so we're really just at the start of research to understand all the different ways that this product can be used. So I'm really excited about using it and happy for the opportunity to offer it to my patients. Pe people with social anxiety disorder have extreme fear of getting into social situations. They have difficulty approaching people. They have difficulty going out shopping or going to malls. Anywhere there's other people, they have extreme fear of that situation. So a lot of people learn to medicate to cope with that problem. Having a natural product that would help them in that situation would really reap benefits for them. So I'm really excited about that use. And the truth is it's a very common disorder. One of the reasons that people are trying to legalize medical marijuana in this country is for its CBD content. This product, which is sold as a supplement, is legal in all 50 states and in fact is being used worldwide because there is no THC in this product. And, and therefore the negative effects of THC, getting high, getting munchies, having paranoia, are simply not found with this product. One of, the, one of the other benefits of CBD is that in a small percentage of people who smoke marijuana who have certain genetics, they actually develop schizophrenia. CBD can act to counteract that problem and is used as an antipsychotic. It can repair brain damage. In addition, uh, people that have psoriasis and other skin disorders can benefit from topical application of CBD.